How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well today i am super excited because i've got another compact flagship device here with me and this time it's the Vivo X200 FE well i've got it in this beautiful amber yellow color and honestly this thing looks absolutely stunning i like how the whole frame comes in black color and the combination of yellow and black looks really really good now coming to the front, we get a gorgeous 6.31 inch LTPO AMOLED display with 1.5K resolution and it has a peak brightness of 5000 nits. It can go all the way from 1 to 120Hz and it also supports HDR10+. So overall it's a really good looking display and the best part is you get super thin symmetrical bezels all around giving you that immersive experience while watching any content on this phone. Not just that, despite the fact that it's a compact phone, this device comes with a massive 6500mAh battery which is an amazing thing. The X200 FE features a Zeiss branded triple camera setup on the back with a 50MP Sony IMX sensor main camera, then there is a 50MP 3x telephoto lens and an 8MP ultra wide lens too. Not just that, it even has a pretty capable processor which is the MediaTek Dimensity 9300+. So the specs are actually really good on this phone, but what about the software experience? This is where we get the infamous Funtouch OS 15 based on Android 15 on this phone. And even though it's not a very popular Android UI, there are still a lot of useful features, customizations and some important settings that I'm about to show you. And this will definitely help you to get the most out of your brand new Vivo smartphone. So if you've just bought the brand new X200 FE or you have any Vivo phone running Funtouch OS 15, then stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let's start with some basic customizations to make your home screen look clean and clutter free. When you long press on the home screen and go to home screen settings, there is an option called home screen style. If it is set to standard, change it to drawer. Then you can change the drawer background color. By default, it is set to transparent but you can change it to dark or light and even adjust the blur and transparency too. Next, you can disable this option that says add new icons to the home screen. But what's even more interesting here is the app suggestion bar. This shows all your frequently used applications at the top when you open the app drawer. As you can see, I've got two extra rows that simply shows my recently used apps which actually makes the app drawer look cluttered. So if you want to disable this recommended app section, Go to home settings and turn off this toggle called app suggestion bar. Now you'll have a much cleaner app drawer. Next, you can also change the swipe down action on the home screen. It opens the global search by default, but you can change it to the notification center. Now whenever you want to open the control center, just swipe down from anywhere on the screen. If you click on the icons option, you will find a lot of things to customize and tweak. First, there are two different icon styles minimal and exquisite. I usually prefer the exquisite icons because I think they look slightly better than the minimal pack. Then you can also change the shape of your app icons. By default, you get the squarish icons, but if you swipe all the way to the left, it changes to the rounded shape, which I personally prefer. You can also increase or decrease the size of the icons. And there is an option to hide the app labels too. Next in the home screen, if you long press on any folder, then click on the enlarge option it will enlarge the folder in a much bigger size. Now you can directly open any app without having to open the folder first. Guys, if you long press and go to the widget section, you get access to some of the stock widgets. We've got different set of clock widgets, weather widgets, battery, calendar widgets, and many more. So these are some of the widgets you can apply directly onto your home screen. Next, if you go inside the phone settings, then select home screen and lock screen, here we get some more customization features. If you go inside always on display, first you get the option to change the display mode. You can either choose all day or show as scheduled or show when you tap the screen. Then we have got different types of AOD styles. And when you select that, you actually get some beautiful looking clock faces and different styles and effects for your AOD. You can also change the color, customize the font and do lot more. I think you get some really good looking AOD styles built inside the Funtouch OS 15. Next, if you go to colors and style option, 
Here you can change the accent color depending on the wallpaper you are currently using and the best part is you can apply the color to your app icons as well. I think this is something which you can definitely try especially when we don't have many options to customize the app icons. Then if you talk about the lock screen customization features, if you just tap on the edit option, we can customize the clock styles and there are different fonts that you can choose from. Then we have got the option to change the color and there is an option to enable or disable the depth effect too. But what's interesting here is this decorative option that basically provides a dynamic customization of text, frames, background and colors. This is something that Vivo has recently added to the Funtouch OS and this was already present on the Origin OS 15. So these are all the customizations that are available for your lock screen and additionally you get this toggle that allows you to enable or disable the control center from appearing on the lock screen. Next, let's talk about some useful AI features we get on this phone running Funtouch OS 15. First, we have got the circle to search feature and this basically allows you to tap circle or scribble anywhere on the screen to instantly search anything on Google. You just need to tap and hold at the bottom of your screen and then circle on anything you want to search for. That's it. It's going to give you information instantly based on what you just circled. I think it's a very useful feature which we are getting in most Android phones these days. Next, if you go to the gallery and then select any picture, here we get some useful AI photo editing tools. All you need to do is just tap on the edit button and here we get some useful tools such as AI eraser that allows you to remove any unwanted objects from your pictures using AI. Then we get the repair option that basically enhances your photo with the help of AI and this can be useful when you want to improve and enhance the quality of your pictures. Next, you also get the AI image expander that will help you completely change the orientation of your photo. This basically uses AI to smartly expand the boundaries of your cropped image, effectively adding more context and details to the edges with the help of generative AI. Not just that, if you long press on any object, you can either save it as a PNG file or move and resize the object anywhere on the frame and then simply click on the generate button. Guys, all these features work really really well and you can easily do some complex level of editing without spending a lot of your time by simply using these amazing tools. Next, inside the notes app, we get AI creation tools that have features like smart layout, summarize and translate. All these features can help you automatically structure your notes with proper formatting and it even instantly translates the text into different languages. Next, if you open the phone dialer app, tap on the three dots button and then select this option called smart calling assistant. Here we get a couple of useful features. We have smart summary that will help you to generate call summaries. And we also get the AI call translation feature which basically allows you to translate calls in real time with the help of AI. You can translate calls in different languages. Not just that, there is also an AI screen translation feature which can only be accessed by using the smart sidebar on your phone. In order to enable this, go to your phone settings, scroll all the way down and then select shortcuts and accessibility. Here you need to enable this option called smart sidebar. Now when you swipe from the edges of your screen, not only you can quickly access your favorite apps and shortcuts, you can also open apps in a pop-up window like this. And if you tap on this edit button and add this screen translation tool inside the smart sidebar, now this will instantly translate any on-screen text into your preferred language in real time. The best part is it works inside any application you have installed on your phone. Guys, inside the shortcuts and accessibility, you can enable some useful gestures too. First, you can turn on this toggle called small window and this allows you to open any app in a split screen or a pop-up window with a simple swipe up gesture. Then you can also enable the super screenshot gesture that lets you take a screenshot by simply swiping down with your three fingers like this. Next, there is this quick action button which helps you to toggle the flashlight, open your favorite apps and more by just long pressing the volume down button. Finally, there is something called dynamic light that activates when you receive notifications or calls on your phone. You can decide when you want this light to be activated and do a lot of cool stuff. Next, inside these settings, if you go to dynamic effects, here you can further customize and enhance the animations of Funtouch OS 15. You can add blur in the background when opening and closing applications. You can also change the animation speed, add some cool animations when you unlock your phone. You can customize the fingerprint animation, charging animation, screen on and off animations too. So there is actually a separate section where you can customize and tweak the animations of Funtouch OS 15 as per your need. 
Next, if you go to display settings, here you can change the screen colors. It is set to standard by default, but you can change that to bright for even more vibrant and punchy colors. Next, you can also change the screen resolution from standard to high and there is an option called visual enhancement. Just make sure you have enabled that as well. Since we get a massive battery inside, you really don't have to worry about the battery life on the smartphone. Finally, let's talk about some camera features. Guys, you get aura light on the back and this can be used as a flashlight when taking pictures. The best part is you can change the intensity of this aura light and even change the color from white to red. So this light is more customizable than the normal flash we get on other phones. Then you can change the color tone and style of your pictures. There are different types of filters you get built in inside the camera app and depending on your requirement, you can choose whatever style you want. Not just that, if you select portrait mode, there is an AI visual feature which changes the environment and adds some nice snow or wintry effect to your pictures with the help of AI. So you get some useful set of AI features built inside the camera app and you can record up to 4K 60 frame videos on the smartphone. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features of the Funtouch OS 15. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.